All right, what's so dark? Good morning, guys. Haven't had a sip of coffee today. Trying to not take a stimulant break, but I'm trying to be aware that I'm heavily addicted to stimulants. Like even now, I'm, I'm having a hard time talk to you guys because even in the morning, I'm like, if I don't have my coffee, it's almost like my brain doesn't work. With that being said, <laughs> drink my uh, drink my espresso. But yeah, hey, we're on our uh, we're on our self improvement arc lately. You know, everybody had their New Year's resolutions. I hope you guys are sticking to it. Right now, got look at my fucking breakfast right now, dude. One whole egg, half cup of egg whites, two English muffins, or uh, one English muffin, and then we got Gorilla Calgen. I, guys, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I mean, I've only been taking it for about a week because that's how long I've had it. I don't know if it's doing anything for me, but it really does taste good, and it makes me feel good in the morning. It makes me feel like, ah, I'm doing, you know, I'm drinking my vitamins. It's almost like, you know, Derek says it does a lot, and I do trust Derek, so. Yeah, I'm gonna eat this, and uh, we're gonna get the day started. We're gonna go hit a little chest, hit a little gym. Oh, guys, I got a new car. I gotta tell you guys, I got a new car. I traded in the Lamborghini Urus, which is really sad. We had a, we were talking about it. We made a lot of memories in that car. And also that car was, I'm not getting emotional. I'm not, it's not me getting emotional. I'm trying to think. But that car is more than just a car to me. It was almost like a statement. Getting that car and like putting the money down and, and buying it. And when I posted the picture, the picture like, and obviously likes don't mean anything, but the picture went crazy. It was like my most liked post. It had like 50 something thousand likes. And everybody was kind of just like, what the f Like this kid, it was a year and a half into my career, I think. Everyone was just like, holy shit, this kid from TikTok. No one knew who he was before. Didn't even plan to go this crazy. And then all of a sudden buys a Lamborghini or it's like, nobody in the fitness industry had one at the time. Maybe like Jay Cutler did. Uh, it was just like groundbreaking almost. So that car really did mean a lot. At the end of the day, it is just a car. I got bored. I'm a, I'm 22 years old, you know? So I got bored of the earth and I know people are gonna be like, bro, how you get bored? You're so ungrateful, what the f Dude, it happens. When you're when you're exposed to all of these things at, at a young age and everything and life moves so fast, it's like we get bored quick. That's one of the things that I've noticed of, you know, being fortunate enough to live like how I do and like how we do is that's that's something that I've noticed. But it's good to be self-aware about things like that for sure because you can keep that in the back of your mind. Quick interruption to today's video. We have a sponsor and of course it's Blue Mon. Blue Mon's been a sponsor of this channel like two or three times now. And they're gonna they're, they're here to stick around, okay? Because I actually do use the products every single day. I'm gonna take you guys through my daily routine. Um, if you guys don't know already, the Ascend Volume Cream. This is gonna make your hair just have more volume, but it also is gonna protect it while you blow dry. Because when you blow dry on high heat, it's actually not good for your hair, believe it or not. What I do is I slick it back, I make sure everything on top is covered in it. And by the way, my hair was damp from the shower. It wasn't wet, it was damp. So what I like to do is I like to start kind of forming like my middle part as I'm like mixing in this volumizer cream. So I'm kind of forming it already. So now that we've got the volumizer cream in it, we're gonna blow dry. Also, by the way, they didn't even ask me to talk about this, but this is the conditioner that they gave me. It fucking smells incredible. I really do like it. So this is the conditioner. All right, just hit a little blow dry. Takes about five minutes. Now that my hair is blow dried, I'm using today the Monarch Matte Paste. So it goes into the hair. See, I, you, it could hold like this if I wanted it to, but obviously it doesn't look that great. Sooner or later it will, once I get like a nice fade for the uh, for the slick back. But right now we're rocking the middle part. Look at that, little, put a little hair in front right there for the, for the girls. If you want to try Blue Mon, you can use code SUSH. It'll give you a 10% discount at bluemon.com forward slash SUSH right here. That'll take you to the direct link to bluemon.com. And it, it's also in the description as well. So shout out Blue Mon for sponsoring this video. Um, I really do love the product, guys. So appreciate you guys. Thank you for sponsoring this video. Back, hey, back to the good shit. Yeah, I was just about to. Hey, look at me, bro. He was like, yo, are you about to use it? I was like, yeah. And he was like, I was about to use it too. And I was like, go ahead, bro. He needs it more than me. <laughs> hey, I'm kidding. Um, because I actually wanted to do this one anyways. Guys, so everybody who wished Madrid well, it finally works. After two months of agony, he's back. <laughs> Everything is healed, pretty much, so he's back on his revenge arc. He's been lifting for the past couple of days. You took what? How long off? 
like month and a half off. Month and a half, no no movement, bro. Yeah. He was bed rest. Literally <laughs> bed rest would edit my videos and then just sleep. Revenge art. My boy Noah lost my virginity last night. Hey, shout, shout out to Noah. If you guys ever like want to just tell me something, hit me up on Snapchat and be like, yo, I you know, I lost my virginity. Because I want to hear about, I don't want to hear about it, but I want to hear... Good news. Yeah, I want to hear good news that you guys go through, so. Wait, yeah, maybe. Dude, it's the pizza. It's the pizza. It might be the pizza. <laughs> but nah, I think something's wrong. Let me look it up. That's right. Yeah, yeah. 20 kg, 45 pounds. I don't know. Yeah, it's the pizza, bro. The pizza. You know, hey, Monday's the best day for the gym. Like, if you're trying to, if you're trying to see talent or just trying to see people in general, because everyone's trying to work off the weekend. Like, me and him drank pizza and or drank beer and pizza when we're here now. So, yo, this is kind of growing on me. The crew neck. Yeah. At first, I wasn't like too excited about it, but it actually is growing on me. I haven't done incline barbells in ever since I started doing incline Smith. I haven't done incline barbell, so 225. We're not around. My bad. I think it's a PR. I don't think I've ever done 11 for 225. We got we got 275 on. This shit's feeling light. We both came to the conclusion shit feels light. I checked all the weights. I honestly think it's the pizza, so, or majority thinks it's the pizza. I think it's the bar. All right, we're gonna try 275, and then we're gonna try 315, maybe. Did you see it fall on me mid-set? Yeah, it hit the, he was doing 135, and he said he's never done that before. Yeah. And he cranked it out for like eight reps. So something's going on, something's in the water. Maybe it's the talent. It's giving us a testosterone boost. Oh fuck, this is fucking heavy. Fuck. <laughs> Bro, that is heavy. All right, hold up. All right, that shit was way too heavy and I'm not risking an injury. So back down to two plates. They, they call it one plate Madrid. Yeah, one more. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> you know what's funny? Remember the New Year New Me vid and I, we were like, hey, no phones oh, yeah. in the gym? We completely forgot yeah, about I that. I totally forgot. Also, it's kind of impossible. Yeah. Like, if I'm in between sets, what am I gonna do? Like, stand? Yeah, what am I gonna do? Sit there and breathe and rest? No, I gotta be on my phone. All right, let's go, baby. Dude, I don't know what's going on, man. Light? Yeah, everything. Honestly, I think what happened, because I went to bed at 8.30 last night. I think it's because I got, I had a really good sleep, like, bro, nine hours, super well rested. Like, ate good yesterday. I think that's probably what it is, just like sleep. Make sure you guys are getting enough sleep, man. We took that shit for granted back in the day. We got that, that pizza pump. 200 grams of carbs last night, if not more. Let's go, baby. What did, uh, what did Brad Castleberry say? Can't walk right? You gotta learn right? your ABCs. Oh, you yeah. can't walk right, then you'll never do anything. Get your chest up. Chest up, shoulders back. Oh, you good, bro, you good, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah, go ahead. See, he was intimidated by the chest up. He didn't wanna, <laughs> he didn't wanna interrupt me because I had my chest out. Hey, pro tip, when everybody do some, like, some big weight, you always gotta test it out like a little quarter rep, just test it out, just to make sure that you can do it. All right, this one, this, this set doesn't count. 
Because it's three and a quarter, I'm, I'm just f***ing around. I want to see if I can do it. Oh, fuck. Not right, bad. Four, four reps. Four and a half. I want to switch it up, so we're doing incline, incline fly, which I don't usually do, but I remember I used to do it in college. It should be good. Hit a little flex. Look at that. That's hey, all my boys getting big, bro. Hey, hit a little something, hit a little something. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, full stack, tricep push down, watch this form. Incredible. You would think I'd be an IFPB pro by now with this. Last one, dude, when I was doing those muscle ups, the last rep rocked me. Rocked my gyno and You raised the bar? Yeah. No, like, cause I go up and then when I go down, because I'm so tired, I kind of like let my, my chest hit the like the top thing. So it's like slamming all my weight onto my nips. Grape cotton candy just went live. Um, so if you haven't already, go get one. It's a brand new flavor, doesn't taste anything like the others. So in my review for Gorilla Mine, I mentioned it has zero resemblance to any of the other flavors because sometimes they taste too similar to the others. Like with Tequila Sunrise, it was starting to taste too much like Fruit Punch, so we had to dial that. But cotton candy, brand new flavor, go get you one. Discount code SUSH. Save you some money though. Caught you lacking. Nah, did you actually? Jack Arlo. All right, here she is. I'm gonna get a thumbnail real quick so I can put this sweatshirt on. Baking it, for, baking it for the gram. Now I put the shoes back on. Okay, so here it is, 2022 G-Wagon. This is my first ever brand new car. So my Urus wasn't new, my Range Rover wasn't new, my C300 wasn't new, nothing has ever been new. This is my first brand new one. I've always wanted a G-Wagon. Even when I got the Urus, it was, it was between Ferrari, G-Wagon, and Urus. The only reason why I didn't get the G-Wagon was because one, I couldn't get approved, which is weird. I don't know how I can get approved for a Urus, but not a G-Wagon. But also, because Girani had just gotten his. So I didn't want to get a car that he had just gotten. But now that he's had it for a year, it's okay, I can get one now. I honestly wasn't planning on actually purchasing the car when I went to Mercedes-Benz Calabasas, but when I went there, they had this brand new one that Kevin Gates was actually looking at the day before, believe it or not. Those wheels are monoblock wheels. Whoever made the spec, obviously I didn't spec it out. Whoever did the spec, put those wheels on. Those are only for Maybach cars, but the guy was like, can put them on here. So that's what I've been told. This is a frost white, same color as my old Range Rover. Like it's the satin white. And I really do with it. I think I'm gonna keep it because I haven't seen, we haven't seen a single one like this. I always see satin black, satin gray, but never satin white. So the inside here has a burgundy interior. 
Um, it's not like the classic racing red, which I really do like because the Urus was the, that racing royal red. But this is a nice like, cla it keeps it really classy because it is burgundy. Diamond stitching and it's got carbon fiber. I didn't even know G-Wagons had carbon fiber, but it's sick. My GT doesn't even have carbon fiber. So all of it is carbon fiber over here. It's a, I really love the car. I really do. Only thing that I would say I don't like is the space in the back. You would think um, there'd be way more space, but there's not. It's actually pretty tight. Why wouldn't you take away from the trunk six inches and then you've got six inches of extra legroom? I don't know. Classic spare tire. For, ah, classic spare tire from G Wagon or from Mercedes. And then look at the back. All diamond stitching, even though no one sees that. They gave us a nice little package. It's got, it's got a blanket. He was telling me, he was like, yo, when you take your girl to the beach, she's cold, you grab this blanket. I was like, I don't have a girl. <laughs> oh, it's the first time I'm pulling this one out. Ooh. They have a bag. It's like a gym bag. AMG on it. AMG gym bag. First time opening. Unboxing. Water bottle. So, I love this car. I'll probably drive it for about six months and get rid of it. So, I'm just kidding. I will see. There it is. Hope you guys enjoyed. All right, we're gonna go back. Dude, the screen lens is so dirty. All right, guys, I'm back home. I'm gonna wrap this video up. Actually, Joe LT, he lasted a whole two weeks in Houston, and he's coming back. So I think it's working, guys. I think we're, I think we're like, come on, come on. He's coming towards the light. Yeah, I think it's working. Oh, also, I'm super excited with this. I'm putting like this little table that hangs over the railing with like these hook grips. It hangs over the railing, so we're gonna be able to sit here. You know, do whatever, do whatever you want to do. Eat a little meal. Once it gets a little bit warmer out here, eat a meal. Look at the view, the mountains. It's gonna be sick. Yeah, really excited for that. But yeah, Joe is uh, Joe is coming back tomorrow. He'll be here. He's staying for like a, a week or two, maybe. I don't know. But we have to do a photo shoot or a video shoot, and they wanted Joe to do it, which is really cool. So he's kind of getting flown out just for this one one video. But yeah, I'm really excited to see him here, just because I do really like the guy, Joe. If you're watching. Hopefully next video we get some content with him and we do some fun shit. So we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. By the way, new crew neck is dropping the 31st. So this is probably my favorite color, the white. It's got a little gray and then black right there. But see you guys in the next one. Bye, Milo. Bye.